Hey there guys, as I indicated in the last video where I showed you the Ryobi 40 volt chainsaw, we are currently on a family camping trip in the White Mountains of Arizona, which is definitely one of our favorite places to come camping. And also the same place that you saw last year's camping trip, which was the first inaugural trip for the DIY travel trailer project. And oddly enough, that project still has a couple of things yet to come in it. Uh, but anyway, uh, this video is going to be kind of the same. I want to show you some of the things we do around camp. Um, instead of taking you straight up fishing, I'm going to take you and show you how we catch crawfish. Uh, my wife wants to do some foraging for wild edibles and uh, we'll just show you some things like that and towards the end of the video I'm also going to show you how I incorporate some of my Ryobi shop tools in our whole camping routine to set the trailer up do things like that um, and because those tools were sent to me over this uh, past year by Ryobi and the Home Depot Perspective I also want to say thank you again to them for their sponsorship of some of the videos I make so anyway let's uh, get to camping type stuff all right well i'm going to be doing this a little bit backwards since this is actually the last day we're here but i'm going to give you a quick little t uh, camp tour with the help of my daughter marley and just kind of show you around our camp real quick the reason i didn't do this in the very beginning is because we had uh, my wife's parents here and her grandparents which are marley's great grandparents and i just didn't want to have the camera uh too <laughs> wielding around while they were here so you ready for it all right so this is where our camp trailer is and our little awning set up yeah. so we can cook is like, that the kitchen where mom's cooking yeah, let's right go where see mom's it cooking it's a little slide out kitchen mm -hmm. i still haven't got the awning built but uh eventually this will get replaced with an awning okay what else then we have our hammock over there. Okay, way over there, the hammock. Way over there, right there. Yeah. We have our wood pile. Well, take me over there. All right, so this is our wood pile. Yep. I cut almost all this with the Ryobi 40 volt chainsaw that I showed you in the last video. And the bigger pieces, my father-in-law and Marley's great-grandfather had cut for us when they went out. Okay, what else? What's behind you, that green thing? The, oh, that's our shower. Our little shower tent? Yep. That hopefully will get replaced with some sort of shower that comes off of the trailer when Dad builds it. And yeah. what's behind that? Um, the swing, which you'll see later on in the video. Yeah, who hung it? Um, Pow Pow. Yeah, your grandpa hung it up. Mm-hmm. And what else? Our fire. Yeah, are we going to be sitting by this tonight? Yep. Nice and warm. <laughs> yep, well that's pretty good. So tell me about this sweet little spot you found. All right, so this is a nice big rock and I've caught and fished here before. So I thought that this would be a nice spot. And also why I'm crouched down is because I'm trying to hide because the fish can see you and they'll get scared. Pretty nice one. I'll take it. All right. Bring him out. 
Oh, he's a nice little guy. Yeah. Not as big as yours. <laughs> well, he's still a good looking dude. Oh, and he'll be, we can put him back. He's not. Oh. Yeah, we'll go. throw him back. You're letting me? Okay, set it. Yo, pull him out, pull him out. All the way, all the way, all the way. Oh, nice. Put him on the grass. Look at that. Woo! Hold on. I think. Oh, yeah, we'll be able to save this guy. <gasps> Show me your big fish. <laughs> Hold it up. Yeah. Hey, uh, Good it looks job. like 11 or 12. All right, I can do it. Perfect. Woo. I'm just gonna flip it like this and dump. And I don't wanna get that fish head in there. So break it open like this. Look at that, they even want to go in there. They're saying, please, dunk it. Um, there's still wine in here. That's all right. We'll pull them up if you got it. Oh, let me see. Hey, yeah. He's a small little guy, but he's still crying. I don't know if you can see, he's right here. Big dude. Look at that. A little better look at that guy. <laughs> look at that. Pretty cool. Oh, he's gonna get me. Show me what you got. I caught this little baby fish when I was fishing. Wow. I thought I had a crawdad, but it's just a... Whoa. Oh. Super tiny little fish. All right, go put him back in the water super, now. Super, super tiny. Go let him go. So how's the craw fishing been going with dad today? Pretty great. I'd say like wonderful. Like yeah. really, really good. What have we been doing? So we set the crawfish traps out like way over that way. Uh-huh. And then we, like yesterday, and then. And then we reset them down there. And then we reset them and then what have we been doing right now just with our hands? We've been catching um, crawfish with our hands and I'd say that's going pretty well. And where do we find them? In the water. Oh yeah, but like under rocks, maybe sometimes yeah. sunning on the rocks? Yeah. All right, and how do you think Olive's liking it? <laughs> I think she's loving it. Look at that girl down there. Well, right now the crawfish are boiling on the stove. We got some Zatarans crab boil, some sea salt, and in the past we'll throw potatoes, carrots, and some other things like that, but we didn't have them, so that's all there is. And you can see them right here. Mm. I guarantee. I don't I don't buy any of that stuff, but it's not good for you. Oh I didn't know that. Well there you have it. Not too much meat, kinda like a little shrimp meat. At least that's what I think it tastes like. But it is good. Right now we are on the side of one of the roads picking rose hips. My wife likes to use them in teas and I know there's a lot of other uses so I'll 
have her tell you some of those things and then we'll be on to the next adventure. So can you tell me a little bit about what we use these rose hips for? Uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. We just t uh, pick these rose hips and dry them and they're really useful and good for you in teas. So we just dry them and turn them into a tea. They're very high in vitamin C. An interesting fact, uh, the Native Americans used to add this um, mushed up into their pemmican for the winter. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we ought to give that a shot. Did you know that? No. Ouch. Yeah, the, they have uh, prick uh, thorns. You have to just get the tips. Or wear gloves. Marley, is that pretty cool? Yeah, it's, it's super sweet. It came running up to me. She was the first one that let me pat her. Are you just hoping we can take one home? Yeah, I just wish we could. Ponies are sweet. Can we they get are. a pony, Dad? Well, I'll Sit down. Stop. Sit. Ow! Oh, you got the bar. Boom. Ah. Sit down. Oh. Kick left. There we go. Get up there. All in one. There you go. <laughs> Dodge. That was good. That was good. This is my birdie. Mm. Too much. I want to trap it up. We'll get out here. Get up there. All right. Ah, <laughs> us around? Yeah. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Okay, stick it in the right. What are they doing, Ollie, huh? Are they out there in the boat? What's that? Huh? Are they in the boat?
Well, we've been out exploring and we found a cool little shelter teepee thing that somebody built at their campsite. Super strong. Is it super strong? Yeah, see? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Wow. And it's really big on the inside. So at this point you've seen at least a few times how I use my Ryobi drill to set up the DIY travel trailer on camp trips. But what you don't often see are some of the other Ryobi tools that I carry on these trips as well as pretty much any time I'm on the road. This is my underseat truck storage box I built a while back. It houses various things that you might need on the road like ratchet straps, bungee cords, a tow strap, jumper cables. And you can see some of the Ryobi tools that I have in there. This one right here is a super bright LED light. I'll show you a clip of that right now, but obviously it's nice for lighting up a campsite. And then right behind that, I have a half inch impact wrench that I can change a tire with. It'll easily turn lug nuts. And I keep all the sockets in that toolbox right there. And then on the other side, I've got a tire pump and I'll show you that now. And here's a close look at that inflator. It'll inflate everything from bike tires to vehicle tires, as well as having a volume setting so you can do things like an air mattress. But what I think is really cool about it is it has a preset function so you can basically dial it up to whatever pressure your tire needs to be at. And it'll pump it to that pressure and shut off on its own. And I'll show you that right now. As for the rest of this, it's exactly like the other side. Bungee straps, just various things like that. I have a tire plug kit, various extra fuses, tapes, <laughs> whatever other things you might need to uh, MacGyver your way out of something. Perfect. Stops right at the preset uh, pressure. Another little tool that I get quite a bit of good use out of when we're camping is this Ryobi Bluetooth speaker. Sometimes you'll see it in the background in my videos in my shop. I'll just be listening to music or a podcast, but it operates off the same uh, 18 volt batteries as everything else does. And I'm not going to play any music right now, but what I will do is show you how Power I can use it on. to charge my camera batteries. Just has a little USB right here and you can see it's a great little charger. Well guys, I think that is pretty much gonna do it for this video. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we definitely did because we were the ones out camping and it's one of our favorite things to do. Just being out in nature I think is good for the soul. I do want to apologize though in comparison to last year's video where I showed you the bighorn sheep and antelope and uh, quite a few other animals. Uh, I know this video definitely probably didn't meet that level of entertainment, but you know what? We still enjoyed it uh, and perhaps you learned something new. I'm sure some of you may be wondering why I call crawfish crawfish and not crayfish. Well, originally I was born and raised in the south and we ate crawfish all the time and I kind of feel like the people who actually utilize them kind of get to call them what they want. Uh, but uh, if you call them crayfish, that's that's fine, too um, Anyway, so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, 
stay tuned. I'm definitely going to try to up my videos uh, in the coming months uh, leading up to the end of this year. So, see ya.